Just, it was completely shocking, traumatizing even, because I just, I don't want to be near that. A Kelowna resident living off KLO Road came to take out her garbage when she found this lying on the road. It was a massive, massive, massive pile of very gross needles. I'm going to say 100 or more um, used, like some looking really dirty. Blood in some of them, some of them just looked brown and dirty. Um, there were other boxes of various drug paraphernalia, maybe even like the alcohol wipe and the wraps um, it was it was like it was just offensively large horde of really gross things that I didn't really want to deal with or have near me the downtown Kelowna Business Association said they will pick up needles if it's within the city limit but this resident falls outside that area now they tell Castanet her best bet would have been to call the fire department um, I did feel frustrated with the fire dispatch yeah because she kind of almost made it sound like I should know this um, that it was my responsibility and I a didn't know that and B don't think it is my responsibility um, they weren't my needles I'm not a certified biohazardous handle you know like it, it's not something that I'm comfortable with the firemen were um, they were a little bit blown away by the amounts and they started just continuously pulling out needles um, they would pull out boxes and bags out of this big bag and dump them and there would be needles in this. It's like I don't want my neck of the woods to become that place that I don't feel safe. I still have a bag of garbage here that they did leave that doesn't have sharps in it. That's, that is my responsibility and it doesn't fit in my bin. So I just don't get why why there's responsibility being put on me and, and not so much the people that are leaving these. Petrovich says she's still concerned that these needles could turn up again outside of her home and she still doesn't know who she'll call. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna.